Yo, what's going on guys? It's Steam Crowley coming with another video. We got another VGC 2016 battle here on the battle spot. And today, as apart from those four Pokemon my opponent has on their team, he also had a Slowking and a ho -Oh. So he only had one restricted Pokemon, which I found really interesting. But when I thought about it a little bit, it's to me it seemed like it was an anti-meta team because the ho -Oh shuts down the Growling, except maybe a Rock Slide, or if it has the Gravity up, and it definitely shuts down the Xerneas. And you also have the Slowking, I'm sure, to handle with the Groudon and stuff like that. And all these flying-type Pokemon. So I, I assumed it was some sort of anti-meta team that he was doing just to deal with the Groudon. That's why he brought three flying-type Pokemon to the matchup. I was really surprised he didn't bring the ho -Oh. I brought the Lapras just for, and the Thunderous just to deal with the ho -Oh, to be honest. instead of So I, did, I realized Rayquaza here would be a very bad choice because if I make Evolved, I'd be giving all these flying-types like a, a Resistance to my ice and electric type moves. So I decided not to bring Rayquaza and I decided to bring Lapras and Thunderous for the extra flying and electric type moves. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this battle started and it's quite the interesting battle, Not definitely not what I was expecting. So here I, I lead off with Thunderous and Groudon. I, I felt like my opponent was gonna lead off with his talent flamer is ho -Oh. so I was like well I'm gonna throw in the thunders to get a super effective thunderbolt off and maybe even the rock slide if it was a ho -Oh or both well, and talent flame but I was thinking more ho -Oh. but he started with the lead I was not expecting Kingscon and Dragonite so we're not really in a, we're not really in a good position here because we don't really have too much that we can hit his team with. I mean, neutral attacks more than anything. So he didn't go straight for the Mega Wolf. Here I go for the Double Protect because I didn't want to get hit by the Picket. And I also wanted to see what this drag, what this dragon I was going to do. The one fear I had was a Dragon Dance, like some sort of setup. And so he, he goes for the Go with Kaniscon into the Thunders, but he also goes for the Dragon Dance here. So I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that because the speed here isn't really that important. In Double Battles, you don't really set up with your speed. You go with like a Trick Room or something to use your whole team, but not really one Pokemon. And here he goes for the extreme speed, so I was like, um, it was a little interesting. And I don't know why he wouldn't have got, I mean, he did, well, he might have been expecting like a Thunder Wave or something, or so. I go for, I just go for all offense here. I go for a Thunderbolt. You see, it does nothing really. And I go for the Rock Slide, mainly just to hit the, the Dragonite for super effective damage. So it missed the King's Con, it's not that big of a deal. So it does quite a bit of damage there. And we see right here he has an item, it's the weakness policy. So now he's at plus three attack. So now he's definitely very, very, very scary. So I was like, oh crap. And here he switched out his King's Con. I can understand why there wasn't too, too much it could do to my team in this position. And he switches out to the Town Flame. That was interesting to me because if I went for another Rock Slide, it was like he gotta get a double knockout. So here he goes for the Outrage. And luckily it goes into the ground slot because with that one you can't control which one it attacks. So we got lucky it was into the protected Groudon, and I'm able to pick up the knockout, so that plus three Dragonite has been neutralized. And he brings back in the Kangaskhan, obviously, for the fake out pressure, and he's also got priority with the Brave Bird. Here he goes for low kick, so he must not be carrying like a return or a double edge, because that would have yielded more damage. And here we see the Flare Woods, the Sun Boosted Flare Woods. So that's easily going to take out my Thunders, which is unfortunate. I was going to go for a T-Bolt into the Kangaskhan slot to get some extra damage off. But, I mean, I just go for the Rock Slide here because I know if it connects with Talon Flame, that's a, that's a dead bird. So we usually take out the Talon Flame. We get a little bit of chip damage off on the Kangaskhan. So and now we're in good shape. We're up 3-2. And here I was expecting the Ho-Oh to come in. And I was like, I just I want to have my Groudon alive for this Ho-Oh. We see it's the Thunder. It's not really surprised me that he, that he didn't bring the Ho-Oh. So I bring in my Porygon 2, expecting to set up the Trick Room. So I protect here. I'm going to protect Trick Room to get it set up. But we see here the Thunderous goes for the T-Wave onto the Porygon 2, which is a good thing because it's lowering my speed, but it, there's a chance of me not being able to attack. So we see another low kick here. So that's, he's just spamming low kick, and I get the full para, which is very, very unfortunate. And here he goes for the Taunt. I was kind of expecting, I'm like, he's probably going to go for a taunt, and even if not, my better place to go for the ice beam. So here he goes for the low kick, I'm like, well, um, oh, ooh, he can hold on, and boom, he holds on. So we hold on with 6 HP there, 
very, very fortunate. We get the Fire Punch, it doesn't take it out, but I do target down the Kangaskhan with the Ice Beam, because I realize that's the only threat he has. Because the fact that he's been going for these support moves with Thunderous shows he probably the only offensive move he has is probably uh, Thunderbolt. But here he shows he has the Hidden Power, most likely the Hidden Power Ice. So I think that's why he brought it over the ho -Oh, because he wouldn't have had anything to deal with my Rayquaza. But I, here I, I get the Ice Beam off. And it's not going to be enough to take him out because I didn't get the special attack boost on him. But I have the Lapras here in the back, which has got the Ice Shark, which is easily going to be able to take it out. But, and we're going to see it here. So, pretty interesting team. I mean, a lot of flying type Pokemon. I, I learned from one of the previous battles that I posted on YouTube that you do not bring Mega Rayquaza. You can bring Rayquaza, but you don't Mega Evolve it in a matchup where there's tons of flying type Pokemon on the opponent's side of the field because it is a pain to take care of them. They will also take advantage of your Delta Stream. So uh, that's pretty much it. I felt like my opponent's team, like maybe it was an anti-meta team, but my team isn't really that meta. I have uh, Groudon and maybe Thunderous Rayquaza as well, but my other Pokemon pouring on two Aegislash and Lapras aren't really that meta. So... But lots of flying type Pokemon. I'm glad I had some responses to them. All these ice type attacks on my team. But that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want to battle me. If you got any suggestions or whatever. But hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.